But today, we are here playing Oxenfree, a game that came out about a year ago, and I haven't actually had time to sit down and play it. I did play a few minutes of it when it first came out, um, and have been it's been on my list for a long time, so we're very excited to uh, start our Let's Play of it. And we'll be putting those episodes up on our YouTube channel uh, in the coming weeks. We're going to be running Oxenfree and Assassin's Creed Rogue Remastered at the same time, so definitely check those out. Uh, also, our Rise of the Tomb Raider Let's Play ends tomorrow. Tomorrow, Saturday, uh, the 7th, is the final episode of the Tomb Raider Let's Play. So that'll be really fun. Um, but for now, we're going to get into some oxen free. So let's start it up and see what this is all about. Turn subtitles on. All right. Let's go. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Okay. Alex? Hey. Still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. I'm listening. I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little Miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. The cookies are great on Edwards Island. Used to be great, but you passed. Thank you. 8 p.m. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, wait. What happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah, blah, blah. They hit it off. I really uh, like the way they present these conversations. That's downright adorable. And you guys just met oh, tonight? Oh, I can move around this whole yeah, time. Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what? Does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Yeah, sure, whatever. I have someone to reach the food on the top shelf now. Just happy to be on the team. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way oh. back when, like Paleozoic. Hey, Oops. there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says. Did not mean to interrupt uh, yeah. that conversation. Yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. But yeah, we're old friends. Embarrassingly old friends. Like, we should have found better people to hang out with. I like that it... Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on their way. Yeah, let's do it. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. Jonas. It means oppressor, right? Oh, shit. Yeah, but I mean, my sign's cancer, and it's not like my hair's falling out or anything. Here's good. Come on, coming. Let's join the fun. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Do I get to see hey, it? Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? 
There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. 88.3. It's a... Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly nice. bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. Red-headed bedwetters. I like that band name. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Oh, well, birds. Um, no. Seagulls. You'll see. I don't expect too Come much. Come here, birdies. But, nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. All right. Oh, here's their picture. Oh, cute. Cute, cute, cute. I like the blue hair. It's definitely something about story protagonists having blue hair these days. What is the other one? Life is Strange? That's on our list. Uh, probably be this summer we'll do a Let's Play of that one. We'll see. Am I supposed to press something? Nope. Just loading. Smell that clean air, Edwards boys Island. and girls. Boy and Guest girl. information center. This city living. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh. Oh. Uh. No thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing. So. Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Yeah. Sure. Really? Since when do you smoke? Last time you tried it, I thought you were going to vomit on my shoes. Being polite. You should try it sometime. Okay. Just remember, aim to throw up in the water. Here's the smoke if you Dope. want it. Hugely <laughs> coughing. You alright? They're filtered. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm in... Flavor country over here. Uh -huh. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bend. Actually, that I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Just wait. Is is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> All right. Uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all gonna meet up with them. No, it's... it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. Sorry, Ren. Yes. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. What do you want? I'll just be up the hill... What do you want? What do you want? Case, whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess... Oops. When the flag is flying, we are... funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so... That th was, um... That was Mike's room, actually. So there wasn't that much to set up. Oh. Uh oh. Man, I'm dead sorry. sibling story. I didn't mean to bring it up. It's okay. You didn't know. It's kind of kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy. Yeah, it's like a quiche. Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? It's over here. Sure. Either one. Oh, there's a car. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, who's That's car a good is question. It? 
Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. No, that's a legit question, dude. Whose car is that? Did we finish that conversation? Was the attic the end of that conversation? Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was oh. sunk off the coast. Oh, do the the um the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, but like one oh two point three? Uh, okay, sure. I think they should Named after oh. the Hawaiian god of the sea. The USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? On October yeah. 28th, 1943, I hate thinking about it. It, was sunk it reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible war assignment. There's nowhere to go if something goes wrong. As well as 12 army... Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea. That's cool. I like that mechanic. Oh, okay, so there's the little green radio thing there, which means I can tune in and hear something. Parks and facilities office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, alright. Damn, they close up early. I guess no point in staying true. open if nobody's here. That's true. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed redefinition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's okay. name again. We are here to drink and be stupid. A tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wait, how'd they pull that? The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm... Oh. For a guided tour, tune into Station 102.3. Okay, we can see our friends on the map. It's a pretty big map blanking on what it was but it's not i mean it can't be too difficult uh, perfect well just wait a minute and let me think so to summarize we are not allowed here i think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge well let's try it. sorry ren anyways the town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing <laughs> alive and well no 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 i um i i got it improper acts what does that even mean? Soaping windows? Yeah, I don't think that'll get us tossed in the stockade. No. But maybe the fact that I brought a whole crap ton of drugs will. Oh, well, yeah, that'll do it then. <laughs> of course you did. I've been looking forward to this for a really long time, and I'm These not... characters feel so, like, alive and real. That's all. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front, the mouth, the mouth of this particular cave. You can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds, and they're it's um, it's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did it once. It's amazing when it works. So back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? It's Her cool. I can walk into the conversation like and it starts this like theater. She's been checked in the same spot for like cropping. seven years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. I can't imagine. But if I walk away, it like zooms out. At the same exact walls for that long a time. Well, it takes a certain someone. And actually, you know what? Speaking of the opposite of those certain someones. Drum roll, please. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh... Huh. Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want, forget I Is said Is this going to interrupt the conversation, though? Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. Nine PM. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything. All right? Deal. Be cool. Don't be like just how you what? can be sometimes. Oh, and okay, Jonas. Now that we're dumpster buddies. What was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, it was nothing, really. Just leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear everything. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell <laughs> a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey, we started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's <laughs> Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy, stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, uh, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but she's <laughs> stepbrother. Like, what does that even mean? Um My mom married his dad, so family law and all. Yeah, well I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so <sighs> where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And uh who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, <laughs> that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, seriously, who even invited you? Uh, I did. Ren invited Nona, and Nona invited me. Though, begged me would maybe be the better way to put it. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really beg. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting... Well, sorry. I accept your apology. What did I do? You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20 deep rager, but Pat had a party last week. Sorry, Pat, and your party? How's it going, Angel Beat? Just starting off this story, pretty excited about it. Okay, we're at the beach. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Well, I'm up for pretty much whatever, so... Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Her family's been moving back and forth on the ferry, getting all of her crap. Hmm, oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime, in her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you okay. are. Okay. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo. Until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo, before <laughs> you slap someone. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Unless you lie a lot. Then it's just a good hitting game. Alright, calm down with the buttons. <laughs> um, alright, I'm in. Let's do it. Okay, so, first, we're I'll gonna... I'll start. Ren! Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait! I want to hear his answer. Uh... It's just, I mean, go out could mean so many different things. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like... Enough stalling. Huh? I know you want to oh. sample the goods, now no, just face it. I, I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, oh. right? Putting Ren on blast. I just like her as a friend. 
That's that's all. She's cool. She's Let's ease off the throttle for the next one, okay, Clarissa? Yeah. What? This game isn't any fun if you don't get a stomach ache. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered. Huh? I think. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Clarissa, obviously. <laughs> obviously. You're not going to call her out on that? No, I believe her. I mean, oh my God. look at me. And wait. Wait, that means you'd kill me? Out of everyone here. Your best hey, friend. Hey, you wanted to know. And I'm the only guy. This is Miss Andrew. Miss Andrew, I said. <laughs> okay, settle down. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the platypus... Um, no, no. <laughs> yes? All right, let's uh, make it something uh, fun and easy now. Do you like Ren? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Can we just stop with the whole me and Nona thing, please? Of course she doesn't. She barely likes anybody. She's like an amoeba. I'd like to hear this from her. Thank you. You don't have to answer. I like Rin like a friend. Like, it, uh, I mean, there, he's he's a nice guy. You're, you're a nice guy. And uh, we goof off and, yeah, you know. Ta-da! All is right with the world. Oh, shut up. Um, Nona, you're up? Oh. Uh... Clarissa, if you had to get a tattoo, Boring. what would it be? Hmm. A chick riding a motorcycle on fire. A dolphin, right? Or a butterfly with like a Native American <laughs> poem written above it. I'd get like a little ampersand on my ring finger. I think I actually am going to get that after I move out. So my parents can't say okay. no. Okay. Neat. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, uh... Is there, like, a question coming or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably going to get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I, don't, I don't really need to know the situation. What are you talking about? What is this even... What does this have to do with anything? Just gonna wander why do around. Why get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just You know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die what a and dick. everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa. You what? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's... Let's not stop like this. We should like Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink. Who invited this Maybe person? I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could. And get... that's exactly what Nona's gonna do too. Man, what is your problem, Clarissa? Just what did we What did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? Nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosy happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Uh, if we find anything more interesting than that, I think we'll be too involved in our own fun to come get you. Well, wouldn't you know it. That's good. fine by me. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. <laughs> okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? I want to go, too. If you like bars on the windows. Let me help. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up. Let's yeah, do come it. On. Come on, I'll push <laughs> you over. Oh, oh, I forgot. Whenever we never you're talked ready. About John. So, the cave. 
What's your bet? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? It's Ren, so definitely 10. He gets excited easily, but he has the concentration of a goldfish. The fact that he keeps demanding we see it must mean something. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, Ren. About Nona. What? <laughs> Did she say anything? Because if she said anything, you should tell me. Like, word for word. I think you should go for it. Oh yeah? Yeah. I mean, YOLO. you only live once, so... Oh, alright. I see where your head's at. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Just get on with it. What do I do? Oh, wait. Actually... We gotta get the I radio out. Huh? Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie Town. No. Magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced with certain oh God. qualities. Hmm. Well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. Oops, wrong button. Oh, Morse code. I don't think that's the weirdness I'm looking for. Oh, am I supposed to go over to where they are? Is this what I'm supposed to find? I don't think so. cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. How... how is The fuck was that? How can this be possible? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, then. Because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try right. it. Oh shit. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue <laughs> with you two? Uh... The problem is that she's a monster who can't help monstering out on everybody. Clarissa dated her brother Mike for a little while way back when. Whatever, she never liked me. Not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... <sighs> brownies are Oh, I out. had to take those brownies. That makes sense? Are you... okay? I think so. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. If you want to bring it on over. Oh, right. Need to find the radio station. Nope. Mm. Oh, shit. God, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds, uh... It does sound satanic. Satanic? Not what I was gonna say, but close enough. Wait, what was that? 
Let's go check it out. There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last words. I... Uh, yeah, what is that? I'm sure there is something in there, like a giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin what? wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something, like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> if it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean <sighs> that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Oh my god. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute, Jonas. Well, I am going to okay. just rest against here because Bye, I Ren. think shh, I think I mismeasured the match. Ren is just getting stoned on the beach. Cool.